Hey guys, welcome to Instant Pot Tip Wednesday. If you're new here, my name is Alina and this is my healthy Instant Pot recipes and tips channel. I love my Instant Pot, as you can tell. So if you're first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe below and that bell button so you don't miss anything and you don't want to miss anything. And actually, a few of you asked me by email how you can subscribe to my videos that's your bell button. You get an email, there's a new video, you click on it and you go. Um, today we will be talking about which Instant Pot you should buy because you should buy one, trust me. Hi guys, hey guys, hey guys. Anyways, which Instant Pot you should buy? There are four sizes of Instant Pot, 3 quart, 5, 6, and 8. Let's start with the smallest one. 3 quart is obviously not for me because I have a family of four, but if you're a single person or your family consists of two people, 3 quart would be good for you. Then, 5 quart is something new. It's smaller than 6 quart. I don't have one. I think you should buy six quart because it's not much difference. And six quart is the most popular model. Okay, so let's talk about the size. I have six quart Instant Pot Lux. Lux is the most basic model of Instant Pots. So the only difference between the next step model Duo is that Lux does not have a yogurt function. Also, um, for pressure, cooking mode it doesn't say pressure cook it says manual and another difference is that Lux pressure cooks on high pressure versus duo has a low pressure mode but to be honest i rarely use low pressure maybe once when i cook quinoa and still there is a way to cook quinoa on high pressure so high pressure is pretty much default so you don't have to worry about switching between pressures. Uh, both Duo and Lux models have keep warm functions so after you cook your food it can be um, kept warm logically and they both have delay start. Yogurt. I have the 8 quart um, Instant Pot Duo with a yogurt function. To be very, very, very honest, I used to use it in the beginning and I don't use it that much anymore. I buy yogurt because I don't need a quart of yogurt. So it really depends your um, preference. But Lux is the most sold and popular model and six quart is the most common size. So if you have a family of four, I think six quart would be good for you. I also think if you have limited storage, six quart would be good for you because Instant Pot is quite a bulky machine. Six uh, quart Lux comes with a trivet like this one without handles. You can buy trivet with handles separately. Actually, Amazon sells a lot of accessories for Instant Pots. And the and this is your pin for um, the pressure. It looks like it's not there. It looks like it has a hole, but actually it is there and it does pop up. Whereas, as well, might as well switch to eight quart. The pin on the Instant Pot Duo eight quart is pink, and it kind of like obviously when it pops up, it's really up see that's the difference and another thing is newer six quart lux that i have here it doesn't have the condensation container like the older duo has i don't know if that's the new or old thing or the model but i actually like it without the condensation collector because then all the steam collects here and you just wipe it and you don't have to worry about that. So now let's go to the eight quart. So now this is the eight quart. Do you see how big it is? 
it, it is quite large, honestly. Uh, this is my husband's favorite instant pot and he owns this one. I own this one in the studio. This one is good if you have a family of six people and plus. That's like kudos to you. And if you like leftovers, because the thing about instant pot is you cannot, when pressure cooking, you cannot fill it up past the max line, CPC max. So if you want to make a large batch of soup or chili, this is your max. Mm, I do like to make large batches and freeze for later. So I do personally like eight quarts. And this is the trivet it comes with. It's very handy, like for egg bites. Just take it out, bam. You can buy it separately too. We will link to it below. And speaking about buttons, so this is the yogurt button. Also what I like about duo models is that you can take the lid off and put it inside the handle. So the handle holds the lid. And Lux does not have that. And another thing to keep in mind about larger instant pot, a quart will take longer time to build up pressure if let's say you're cooking soup, which has a lot of liquid because it has to heat it up and then bring to pressure, whereas six quart will come to pressure faster. And I just want to make it clear. See, this is the pressure cook button. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> it's right here. But all the other buttons, I do not use. <laughs> I just use manual on Lux and pressure cook on here. You know why? Because the porridge and rice and soup, it's just the same pressure cook button with a timer. <laughs> and the thing is about recipes, it doesn't work that way. All soups require, I cannot just press soup and cook soup because it depends what's in your soup. Some soup can take 10 minutes and some soup takes 30 minutes. So you cannot just press soup and walk away. So that's why majority of people use only two buttons. And that's why Lux is so popular because it's the cheapest one, it's basic, and it comes in both six quart and eight quart sizes. And that's pretty much all you need. So if you ask me to answer the question, which in some pot you should buy. Let's answer this way. We're a family of four, and I think my favorite is eight quart because we eat a lot, we have boys, everyone is active, so I do like to make large batches of soup, being European and um, Eastern European, and our family just loves soups. I'd rather have more food and leftovers, we don't mind leftovers, rather than eating out. So ours is eight quart, but six quart is the most sold and popular model. So I hope this helps and I answered your question. And last thing, because I am a crazy <laughs> instant pot lady, I have three, not two, I have three. But the thing is the third one is not instant pot, it's a pressure cooker and it's this one. Kasori. So I just got it and it is a little bit more complicated to use. It has too many buttons and you cannot just press. It works just like Instant Pot, um, but because it has the same price tag, I believe, as Instant Pot on Amazon, I think you should buy Instant Pot. And last but not least, this is not a sponsored post. I'm in no way associated with Instant Pot. I am honestly, honestly, just crazy Instant Pot lady. I love my Instant Pots because they do allow me to cook faster and feed my family healthy food. I, yes, it takes time to build up pressure and cook it, but you throw everything in there and you walk away to do something else. Like I go to the beach. So that's it. I hope this answered the question, which Instant Pot you should buy. And if you haven't done so yet, subscribe right there. And we also have, if you're new to instant potting, how to use instant pot below and how to clean your instant pot. We have a ton of resources here on YouTube 
and on my blog ifoodreal.com i hope you enjoy and if you did give me some up below like this and come back and don't forget to check our channel every friday for healthy instant pot recipes thanks for watching bye